Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aaron, Aries. I was going to say Aaron for once, but there's Aaron. I'm not Aaron. Aaron's right there. I don't know what's going through my head. Anyways, a lot of the viewers have messaged us off and on since we did that prime rib thing. Even though I said it's a do-it-yourselfer or how to cook ham for dummies. Yes, uh, cooking ham. Well, first, remove your honey pack if you have a honey pack. Or brown sugar pack, or whatever it might be. You know what I was impressed with you, this? A lot. Some people, like the giblets, might just cook it with this still attached. Or they might use it, and they shouldn't use it till the end. I was impressed with something on the side here. Besides that saying, honey ham, it says smoked this. ham. It says hickory smoked on the yes, top. Yes, and do remember to take it off, because it actually has your directions right back there, besides your estimated time right there on the front. Yes, this is and 10 And do pound. keep it refrigerated. Some people take their ham home, and they just throw it on the counter, and it's like, oh yeah, that's good. And four days later, it stinks. <laughs> we're, oh, and while we're talking about ham, would you like to share a ham story today? Well, not yet. About the Please, bumpus can I, ha hounds. Can I, can I go on with this? So, anyways, this is the ham here. Um, it's all sealed. Um, Cooked. So, I probably should use a knife for this. Uh, I used a Swiss Army knife to cut the little plastic thing. By the way... I did remove the plastic thing for uh, you viewers. The little plastic things that looked like fishnet stockings. So, and then there's more plastic inside the plastic to yes, help with... Because there's juices in here oftentimes, it's probably best to put it in whatever dish you're going to use before opening this. That's a half a ham for some of you. A full ham would be about 16 to 19 pounds. Sometimes you can find a nice smoked ham online for about... $100, but this only costed us $11, so think of it this way for you mathematics out See there. See how there's juice in there? You don't yes. want to lose that juice. That you, juice helps. You can get eight, uh, seven to eight of those hams for the same price as one through, say, Burger's Smokehouse. Now I'm going to try to get all that juice out of the package down in there. Before It'll we... cook off anyways as I'm cooking it. Then... Um, you want to lay it face down. Do remove the plastic bit. Most pe uh, some people actually cook this with it. I bad idea. Then also make sure you remove your drip pack so that you don't cook that too. I've actually cooked it with one of those on it. And, We've uh, made a mistake a few times, me and Aaron, on the giblets on a turkey. Yeah, so no, I've just... never made that mistake. Oh, but make sure you've got all those drip packings because these will stink to high heaven they will melt they're plastic i have made that mistake because i didn't see you've never done the giblet thing i've no. seen oh okay well it must be me then it might be you i've i've never made that mistake it's one of those things i grew up hearing about and we'll always want to make sure uh rita preheated the oven so she probably made a mistake here for me um and you did what? This is too high. You don't want your ham that close to the top. And I don't know where I'm going to put this. Um, I suppose I could put it on the back porch while the, uh, with the door closed. But I'm going to put it there so that I can show everybody first putting this in the oven. First, you put it in the oven like so. On the lower rack, you can actually put it on the second from bottom rack. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. That way I don't have to take this outside. He's the one that told me just That's to what happens when you have a non-cook trying to prepare everything for you. But he was busy doing a favor for me, so I thought I'd try to be so, helpful. There you go. It's on the lower rack. If you could see a picture in there, you could see that there's a good five to six inches from the top of the ham to the top of the thing. You could cover that in aluminum foil if you want. Uh, I didn't cover it in aluminum foil. Uh, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes per pound. It's a 10 pounder, actually a little more. So I'm going to set the time here for 2 hours and four, 35 minutes. And that's when I'll put the honey glaze on. And there we go. And do remember, 100 minutes is equal to 60 minutes. You know, you put in one, it's essentially one hour or 60 minutes. There are actually people that say, how does one... 100 equals 60. 
Well, it kind of does. <laughs> well, also but it's at 15 minutes per pound. That's a 10.7 pound. Now if pound. I raise it by 10 minutes like I just did, it goes by 10 minute intervals. This one is easily 60-60-60, uh, so, you know, it, it, it would register. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Anyways, that's two and a half hours there, so... I don't know what more to tell you, and when this goes on, I'm just going to take this, pour it over the top, which we don't need to do a video for, um, somewhere around here, yes, here it is, is the brush, you just brush this over the meat, it'll kind of get all melty, and throw it back in for 10 minutes, and then it's ready to serve, so, there you go, there you have it, that's cooking a ham. Yep. Thank you, and please look for other videos today on our channel. Thank you, and may God bless the world.